So today I'm going to show you that I ordered two Greenstock Gardens towers and um, we're going to set it up. It's the first time I ever bought this and this box is indeed very heavy. I didn't think so, but that means it's probably very sturdy and it's from GreenstockGarden.com and I love that it says time to celebrate. Your garden goodies are here and we'll open it to see what's in it. This is the unboxing. These are the sections that go in the middle of every every pocketed section for watering. And it comes with an open me green stock setup instructions and free garden goodies. And two packages because there are two towers of the casters. A card from the person that packaged the towers. Thank you, Daniel. So this is the original green stock and I believe it has five tiers. And we got the stone colored one with the mover. And it's great for um, growing vertically and saving space. And we've got the spinners so that we can give the plants equal amount of light every day. So we're going to open the envelope. So in it we get a package of seeds and several stickers. And you can use them to label your green stocks if you if you're growing these items there, or just to decorate. A thank you note from the family business-owned green stock company, and the instructions. So this is the original, the leaf green stock. And each pocket has is 10 inches tall, so you can grow lots and lots of food items in there. And it's a self-watering system. So we're going to put it together. Okay, so my husband's going to help me put the whole tower together. So it has a drainage tube at the bottom. It has a drainage tube at the bottom. And then the casters will go on. Oh, they just pop on. That's pretty cool.
That way you can build on top. Okay, so we're gonna put the bottom, the bases together first because that way we can just stack the other pieces on top and build from there. So this is the base, the movable base with the hole there and you're gonna stick the tubing in there. That's the drainage tube. And then all the casters just snap on to the center hole. And they come in that package there, the green stock mover. It has, it comes with a final piece, which is this little black piece, and you can use it maybe to stopper up the um, drainage tube, um, and then you can also collect water from here because it's full of nutrients from the soil that you can reuse um, into your other plants. And then this is probably, I've heard that it's used to cover this hole here so that when you um, water your plants, when you have that topper, then I think you're supposed to use it to cover the hole or something so that when you water your, your plants, um, the, the debris doesn't clog up your holes. Okay, so that inner, that black little tube didn't fit in there, so I'm just gonna use a can to cover that hole so that the soil doesn't block the drainage hole, the watering system. And I'm gonna fill this with soil, organic soil I got from Costco. And it takes quite a bit of soil because it's 10 inches of length of height per pocket. So, and the soil's slightly moist from the rains. And it still has earthworms in it. So now we have completely filled the soil and removed the can and now we're going to place this watering section here and you have to make sure that each watering section goes to each pocket and you place that watering pocket on now you put on the next level of pockets so friends we filled our green stalks with soil and it says to fill it to the top which we did then it said to water all the pockets and then fill the top with water and it does go through really really well especially if you don't block the holes in the center uh, wells and it did then it rained after I did that and the excess water we caught and we'll water it under some fruit trees and it smells kind of strong so I'm worrying that the plants that we plant in there may not make it but hopefully they will um, nothing that some dilution won't help take care of hopefully and we plan on planting some strawberries which we ordered a few days after we ordered the green stalks so from Burgess, we ordered some strawberries and we ordered Ozark Beauty, Early Glow, and King Kong. And then they gave us three gifts of seeds for painted daisies, sweet red, sweet corn, honey, and peach and then vine peach cantaloupe so that's what we found when we opened it 
and because it rained we couldn't plant the strawberries yesterday and the green stuff so um, so the complete planting handbook and it tells you when you plant specific things um, that you that come in your order which ways to plant them and how to give your plants the best chance and here are all the little pouches with the strawberries and you can see their roots see their roots and the free gifts that they gave which is really awesome hi friends so we filled all the pockets with the Ozark Beauty strawberries the early glow strawberries and the King Kong strawberries and those like to be a little bit in partial shade and sun so that's why we planted the king kongs at the bottom and the others prefer fuller sun and then we set the drainage to go into these flat containers and that's what it caught now it smells really strong of nitrogen so i'm hoping that this soil isn't like very very hot still and we have it draining now to this other portion of that flat container. As well as with this tower, we planted them all out and we drained the fluids to there. So we'll use those in the flower, in the fruit trees, which can tolerate a little more nitrogen if so. So it's been a few days. I've been watering these plants every other day because I thought the soil was very strong. And to my surprise, look at how many leaves are coming up. That is so cool. I didn't know strawberries were that strong. And that container unfortunately is dark, so you don't see how dark the water is, which is pretty nutritious. So I pour it into my, um, my trough of rain water to dilute it out and I water it on my plants. Hi friends, if you remember I stated that there were more strawberry plants than there were wells in the green stock towers. So I put my extra here so I have two Ozarks up in the front and the rest are the King Kong hybrid or King Kong strawberries which are supposed to be a large variety and they like the shade so there's shade there but unfortunately over here it's pretty much in the sun a lot so I'm kind of worried about that but oh my goodness they're starting to grow leaves and you know the day after I stuck them in the ground I came back the next morning and something had dug up the two Ozarks here so it's frustrating but I'm hoping that by putting this trellis here and other things it kind of protects the plants from being dug out and as soon as the roots are established and stuff they probably won't be dug out too much so I was kind of concerned because my Shinseki pear was growing kind of oddly um, not leafing out but it finally is so that is good. Everything's starting to wake up. So this will be a nice pairing. The Shinseki pear definitely has a good taste. We had about seven fruit last year and it was like the second year that I that it was in the ground and something had broken the top, the main um, branch. And so the secondary branch is taking its place. At some point I'm gonna have to cut off this stub so that it doesn't scratch up against the main the main branch and injure it and I'll shape it over time 